What's going on, guys? Hope you're all having a fabulous day. We're trying to break some kind of record here and get to ride a couple times within three days. Have a nice day. Well, how about that eclipse the other day? I'm telling you, I'm mighty disappointed. I guess it's just the fact that the uh, total eclipse is just that much better than like a 99% eclipse. I think it's just, it, you know, when it's 99%, it's still practically daylight, really. And when it's a total eclipse, it's like dark like nighttime. Gotta adjust my mirrors a little bit here. I was tweaking them a little bit. I think I did it too far there. There we go. So what's everybody up to? Bug, hey, I caught your uh, second channel. Bug Moto, I saw that, your uh, motorcycle channel. That was an enjoyable listen. And uh, I tend to agree with everything you said, you know. Um, for those of you that haven't ch haven't seen it, it was, it was a video, oh, Bug had out about a month ago on his Moto channel. And uh, I didn't even know he had a second channel, but I, he does. So anyway, I saw caught this video and basically, you know, uh, ride while you can. I couldn't agree more. I was late to the game, you know, for learning how to ride while my whole family did it, you know, when I was a kid. And I said, no, no, I've got a little girl. I got to be careful, 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 all that, all those years. And uh, I'm not 39 like you, Bug. I uh, am in my early 50s. And, you know, there comes a point when, you know, yeah, be careful, sure. But, you know, at some point, it's nice... You know, you get out and you find something nice and relaxing to do. I think it improves your quality of life. I think riding this Vespa has changed my life for the positive. And in so many ways. I, I think I'm more relaxed and just, uh, you know... Uh, like you said, it, it's, I think it's better than any meditation or anything else I do. I think it's similar to that. You know, meditating is good for your mind and uh, your sanity. You know, uh, it's good for your whole body. I think it's good for your health. And getting out and riding this and, you know, enjoying the fresh air. I think it's really good, just really good for your menta mental state. I really do. Like I was saying the other day, I uh, was, you know, about pandemic time, I haven't really haven't had a ton of interaction with people. And, you know, I, I think at some point you're, you know, your mentality needs other people and it also just needs things like meditation and this to me has really replaced what you know was when I was younger you know well, most of my early life was a golf the golf spot in my life and I mean I golfed with you know I was competitive and uh, you know played on you know competitive levels and a lot of that self-inflicted sure but you know, I, I, I think it was kind of met that need in my life for, you know, something striving for something to do better. And I was sore, certainly lots of outdoor time, lots of good sunshine and uh, fresh air. You know, I don't think anything does the bo body better than clean water, clean air and front and sunshine. But I've. I've just become convinced that, you know, you've got to have a nice, healthy outlet like that in your life. 
and I'm, I'm glad to say that this has become mine. I said, this is not the road I was expecting to take here. Wrong turn. Let's flip it around and do this again. Try to find the right one here. Yeah, getting out and just some, I don't know, alone time to explore. Even though I'm talking to you guys, it's, you know, it's time by yourself and just going out and I don't know, it's hard, hard to even explain. Serenity. Pretty good wind I'm riding into right here. I think we got about a, a 10 mile an hour wind today or so. I'm blowing right into it right now. Overcast today. I think it's about 60 degrees. Pretty nice. Nice day. That guy was checking out the Vespa for sure. Did you see that? He loved it. I can't believe that my microphone works well enough for anybody to hear me into this kind of wind. Cause in my ears, it makes a heck of a ruckus. My microphone is definitely doing its job. These guys' scooters are uh, a little different kind of scooter there. That would have been a good turn off right there. Tuscany Hills, I think that's pretty nice. My wife said there's a house for sale in there. I might see if I can get in there from this other end. But yes, I am very thankful for having this Vespa and just being able to get out and spend some time on the road and you know it's it's just a freeing sense isn't it I know many of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about I may not be able to get back over to that subdivision, but there's a couple of nice ones out here. Yeah, here's a 
there's a way in. Let's check it out. Yeah, my wife said there was a house that went on the market over here and it was, I think it was one day and it was gone. Her and her friend came over to look at it. She's got a friend that was looking for a home in our area and it was a good deal. It was, you know, below what, you know, houses generally sell for over here. And they came over to look at it, missed the open house, and the next morning it was sold. So that's about how long it takes to sell a house these days, I think. Property values keep going up, and yet houses keep selling anyway. I think people are just willing to space that off for, you know, 30 years down the road, they're willing to pay, you know, a million and a half for a $500,000 house or a $300,000 house. It's crazy. Interest rates make a big difference. My mom and dad, I know they told me they bought their first house for, what was it? A couple, $5,000 maybe? 5000 for their first home? And they were both working, so it's not hard for a family to get a house when that's the case, but I don't see any sold signs. I may not be able to find that house that she's talking about. There's some nice homes out here. Those are that's a duplex. That sure is. Huh. I guess I'm out of luck. Oh, we got a couple of buzzards flying over the flying over the trees over there. They must know something I don't know. Yeah, the other day when I said I got some bugs hit my I had major bug splatters all over my shield. I cleaned it all off immediately. It came off a lot easier when I didn't let it dry too much, too. Yeah, it cleaned right up. So what have you guys been up to? I know you've been getting out and riding because it's getting to be springtime. What do you guys like best about being out on your scooter or motorcycle? I tell you, for me, it's got to be the fresh air. I just love that. I always have all my vents open in my helmet for maximum air uh, circulation in there. Looks like some cattle pens over here. Yeah, I've been down this road and I remember that house. It's really modern looking. That's a giant window in the front. What do you guys do for fun, huh? What do you guys do for your pastimes? I myself, I've got to be one of the only people in the world. I like to, I like to vacuum. I love working on my lawn. Those are a couple of my favorite things. 
working on my lawn and mowing my lawn and trimming and all that, that it, I just I find that so satisfying. It's just one of my favorite things. Other things I like to do for fun is I like to watch I like to watch true crime on on YouTube and other platforms. Another thing I've been getting back into here recently is Dark Shadows. I know you guys, uh, a lot of you are of the age where you could remember that. It's a 1960s daytime soap opera that had a vampire on it. Now, it's, it's cheesy. It's cheesy in a lot of parts. But it just brings back so many memories from when I was a kid. I just love that. It reminds me of, you know, it, watching it after school. And uh, I'm a little bit too young to have seen it live, you know, when it was actually the daytime soap opera. But uh, I remember it being on consistently after I got home from school. I used to be so scared of that vampire <laughs> Barnabas Collins that's hilarious that's, that's something I do for fun and true crime I watch a, a couple of true crime channels on YouTube some of the brutal stuff is pretty hard to hear but I, I do I enjoy listen more about like famous uh, famous cases and people really going into it trying to solve unsolved cases I love that forensic stuff speaking of forensics my youngest daughter Olivia it kind of leaning towards going into that field forensics forensic medicine or something like that I guess we'll see she also likes psychology so We'll see a couple of good fields I told her do whatever makes you you know just make get you excited to go to work I think it's important to like what you do but I think it's also important that when you're when you're not at work to let your hair down don't think about work all the time. Leave it there. Those problems will all be there for you when you get back. They're not going anywhere. You know, going through the corporate world, through the casino business, you know, in management for casinos, it was, you know, it's just a 24 hour a day job some of the time. And, I never missed a day in, you know, 20 years, no matter how sick I was. And, you know, I I don't know. I just, I think there's better ways to take care of yourself than that, you know. I, I think you got to have some time away from it, whatever you're doing. something else I just thought of tax return showed up today that's always good it's not a lot but it's always nice to have overpaid them just a little so you know they accepted your return and sent you here here's your overpayment that is always a good thing Uh, cars are lining up to pick up their kid already. Mine's going to be on a school bus riding home here shortly. I've got my clock wrong on my scooter here. Go ahead, man. You were first. Wow. All right. Must be a new driver. Can't tell. Their win windows are so darkly tinted.
another new house going up in our area here. That thing is supposed to be really big. It's got like a 5,000 square foot layout. That seems really big. What a gorgeous day. I, I don't even need sunshine for it to really be enjoyable. All right, guys, I want to wrap this up. You guys uh, leave a comment down there below. Say hi. If you're new here, a sub new subscriber would be great. I'm trying to grow this little channel and share my scooter rides with as many people as I can. But uh, leave a like if you like the video. All right, guys. I appreciate it. Say hi in the comments. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.